everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on ATS Skins and Mods. Uh, this tutorial is going to be fairly short. This comes in response to a, a comment that I had on one of my YouTube videos. So this was uh, a request showing how to make color changing skins. Uh, this is going to be a fairly short video because I'm not going to go through all the aspects of skinning. But I do want to show how you can create a color changing skin. Uh, much like this one I'm going to sh show you here in just a second. This is one that I created uh, a good while ago. It was for Vipers uh, Peterbilt 389. And this is the this is the skin. And if you'll notice up here you have four different colors. You have uh, you have the main color or the base color, and then you have uh, three alternative colors. So using the base color, you can you can change you know the color by just dragging this and your slider around. so forth but anyway so on this particular truck I have several areas here that we can change colors on and uh, you can just pretty much put any make it any color you want so anyway I'm going to show you how to create this skin or how I created this skin and uh, hopefully you'll be able to to create a, a color changing skin with very little difficulty at all, if you already know how to skin. It's actually easier than you think. It's, it's not very difficult at all. And, and this is the skin that I've used uh, to create that truck. So if you'll notice that this skin actually looks no, nothing like the skin that shows up on that truck. The, uh, the base color, and if you look at this one, this black, this is your alpha. So this becomes your base. So anything that's located in this black area, uh, let me see if I can pull up a template here. Okay, so I've located a template so you can kind of see exactly what I'm looking at. And if you'll notice, everything that's in black or in alpha, which is the absence of a color like this, that is going to be your base color. So uh, things like the hood, the cab roof, the sides, these are your base colors. And then you have three alternative colors. And the three alternative colors is red, blue, and green. So if I hide this layer here, so everything in red becomes one changeable color. Everything blue becomes a changeable color and everything green becomes a changeable color. And when you create these, make sure that your colors are pure. And what I mean by pure is you wanna have 100% red, 100% blue and 100% green. So if, you, if you're using uh, paint.net, if you look over here on the sides, you'll uh, this may or may not be closed, but on your color wheel, if you hit more, you have the red, green, and blue. So in order to make the red, make sure that your red is all the way up to 255, and your green is zero, and your blue is zero, so you have a, a pure red. And then same thing for the green. Make sure your green's at 255, and the other two colors are at zero, so you have a pure green. And... Also the same for blue. Make sure it's at 255 and, and these other two colors are at zero. So you have a pure blue. So anything that you want to be color changing on your skin, you, you have to have these four colors, black or alpha, like I said, which is the absence of color, a red, blue, and green. And also remember that this also will affect any 
decal that you put on this truck. So let's say that you want to put a door decal on here and you use uh, one of these primary colors. Anything that that primary color is is going to change uh, along with the colors of the truck. So any decals you add, it doesn't matter which one it is, it's going to, it's going to change if, you, if it's composed of one of these primary colors, red, blue, green, or black. And there is there's a way to prevent that. You can look at the metal, how to create a metallic skin. Uh, you have to create a, another layer and you have to put like a, a white decal uh, underneath your normal decal and that will block uh, that will block the colors from changing so you can have consistencies in your decal. Uh, but anyway, this is this is how you create the color changes skin in paint.net and then uh, you're not you're not quite done depending if you use uh, if you use one of the programs that are available to create the skin mod for you uh, there's probably some steps in there I don't I don't use any uh, third-party program to create my skin mods so uh, what I if you're like me I will show you or if it doesn't work right you can go into the dev file and so let me all right so this is this is the uh, mod for the skin file and every every skin mod has has at least these three folders in here vehicle material and def so uh, if you go into your def folder and you go under paint job and then this is the SII file for the paint job and if you open it up uh, then this is this is what tells the game how to display your skin, and it's it's pretty self-explanatory. But what I want you to look at is is these mask colors here. All right, so in this first row here, this mask R color. So whatever you want the skin to first display. Let, let's say you want black to display as your R color, then then uh, you set this to black and what you want the green color to display at, you can set this color and then this mask blue color, set this color and then you have the base color. And where these numbers come from, now this is one thing I do use a third party software for. So if you go to, and I use ATS Mod Studio. So let me bring that up. But it has a, a color calculator, and I will click on this, and this is this is how I determine where those numbers come from. So if I let's say that I want a solid black, then I can see the red, green, and blue are zero 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 zero. All right. So if you go back to uh, this SII file then anything that's red that I painted red will show up as black. So if we go back to this, anything that's red is going to show up as black. And then uh, our green color, I got 1195, 5769, 5769. This is your red, blue, and green, red, blue, and green, red, blue, and green. So you just come up with your color combination that you want and you can you can change it if you want the green so it gives you your red green and blue colors that you can plug the numbers in and so that way you can when someone first selects your skin you can tell you can control what the person first sees so it's just not red blue and green you know, it does make it look a little bit different, but it does give them the four options to change the colors on their own. So if I go back into the, if I go back into the game, based on those red, blue, and green colors that I first chose, uh, 
Let me uh, let me get back to the game. And you can swap the colors around it. It doesn't really matter. I I, I did it what was best for the truck I was doing and for the skin that I was creating. So this is how, this is, notice there's no red, blue, green, there's only black. And, and this is how the skin shows up based on based on these three colors right here. Red, green, blue, and base. All right, and the second thing that you gotta make sure that you understand is these are your locks. So if these are true, then you're not going to get the options for changing the colors. So you have to make sure that these are all false. Uh, so this is your mask red lock is false. Mask green lock is false. Mask blue lock is false. Then base color lock. So if you only have uh, if you only have base and red and blue, you can lock you you can lock a green if you want to. Just simply change that to true. And that's pretty much uh, every everything you need to know about color change of skin. It's not very hard at all. This like I said, this was a short video. And if you have any questions uh, on anything, just please post it in the comments below and I'll try to explain a little bit better. But just remember, you, you got four colors, uh, black or alpha, red, blue, and green. And that's it. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please watch out for, for newer videos. Uh, I'll try to get some up when I get time. But anyway, I hope you all have a great day and stay safe.